in Crusader Kings 3, sometimes you find yourself in this terrible situation where someone with way more troops than you declares war and you're stranded with a terrible army and allies that are not willing to help you. In no, this case, you, you only have you one doing? option. No. Mercenaries, cell swords, champions of fortune, literal <laughs> companies of dots. But what if I told you that you can become a mercenary in Crusader Kings 3 and you don't even need any mods to do so? Now, I've never seen anyone talk about this mechanic. So, if you found this helpful, make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing. I upload a lot of Crusader Kings content that you don't want to miss. Commenting and liking on the video also helps to boost it in the algorithm. So I would be very very happy if you would do that. My name is Koifish and this is how you become a mercenary in Crusader Kings 3. So the thing that makes you able to play as a mercenary in Crusader Kings 3 without any mods is the Iberian Struggle. Now the Iberian Struggle is a DLC that adds a whole new system to the Iberian Peninsula where you're basically going through different phases of the Iberian Struggle to decide who is going to control Iberia. Now the different phases add different effects to the game. As Crusader Kings 3 explains it itself, it represents a short term societal trend and more temporarily dominating the dialogue of the struggle. So for example, the first phase is the struggle phase. It gives you cool bonuses, like being able to demand payment, being able to abduct, fabricate hooks and claim throne without having the correct perks. For example, to normally be able to befriend someone, you need to have the befriend perk in the family hierarchy tree. But here, since you are in the struggle, you can do it automatically. Now, one of the things that this phase adds is the ability to do contract assistance interaction, a special type of interaction available to involved rulers. That means anyone that owns land in Iberia when the Iberian struggle is going on, which allows them to join other involved rulers wars in exchange for gold. This is effectively going to let us play as mercenaries in any war in Iberia. And that's what we're gonna do today. So let's take hold of our faith. And what better character to play as than Guts from Berserk? The only reason I am aware of this character even existing is of my very cool friend Simo, who has been impersonating this character on Discord and on YouTube Look for the longest dude. time. Very, very fitting. King El Guts of the Brotherhood of Swords starts as an ambitious, brave and greedy character. A brilliant strategist, a legendary blade master, because who else could carry around a sword? Nay, that thing cannot be called a sword. That's a hunk of metal. See kids, I know anime as well. Flexible leader, athletic, adventurer, and Herculean. This character is absolutely goated when it comes to the way of war fighting. And the way we're gonna be playing today is not as a king, even though that's our title. We are a king of gold, of swords, of opportunity, not a king of land. Our goal is to play as tall as possible, not conquer more land than we need, not conquer any land unless we have to, and try to make it out of this struggle as the richest person on the continent, only through the way of war. So right off the bat, even though we're a mercenary, it would be cool to have some kids, if anything used to teach them to fight. We need a wife that has absolutely insane stats when it comes to war fighting. Now someone we could marry right away that absolutely wars my heart is Duchess Matilda of Tuscany. This will not only give us a cool alliance, but also the coolest hottie on this side of the HRE. God damn it, woman, why are you so cute? But alas, we are not gonna simp for a lady that has eight Martian. Get out of here, Martianless. What we need is someone with proper warfighting capabilities. Ah, here we have it. A genius, Adela, gluttonous, brave and trusting. Great stats for a wife, a Franconian nonetheless, but also decent at Martian. We will take her as our lawful wife. <laughs> God damn it, woman. You're very short. We'll pick Marshall as their lifestyle. We're gonna rely on having a small but specialized army, but also really, really strong knights. We'll pick up stalwart leader, as that reduces the risk of commanding armies, something that we're very interested in doing. We'll also hang up our cool banner. Oh yeah, large war ornament of the Brother of Swords house banner. Wow, very cool. Oh my lord, with an actual little mercenary company. <laughs> Who is this kid? Is he gonna fight for us? I, I wouldn't know. Is this Count Anzu? The character that I actually remade to make guts? Wow, I'm sorry to see this sir, but uh, you're very ugly. We're gonna see if we can gain his land by simply killing him. We do have an absolutely goaded marshal, Anzu de Tafala. Can the real Anzu please stand up? Please stand up. We'll have him train our commanders to make them stronger. We'll also invite knights. The more war fighters we have, the better. Now, all we have to do is to sit tight and wait for a war to break out. As soon as it does, 
we will swoop in, get the contract and start earning money. When granting land to people, we're going for people that have a lot of either prowess or stats that will make them good for fighting. As Alfonso, this guy, we could give him a barony, we'll give him a city holding, as we can't rule that ourselves. I've gotten my cool wife now, Adela. Alright, come on, any wars going on? Come on, this is supposed to be Iberian struggle, not Iberian snuggle, come on. Start fighting. As I pace towards my throne, I overhear my knight Garcia, one of the members of the Brotherhood of Swords. The scrumptious woman who charms me so, to which my fealty I eternally owe. The mere thought of her smile brings one to my face, and once that smile's there, it's quite fixed in place. Are you reciting poetry to my wife? Bro code. Bro code. Adela, get away from him, you hussy! Oh my lord, listen. I'm not gonna get cucked by my own sword, brother. No, tell you what, if there's something going on between you, I'll deal with it, all right? I will find out and I will have my vengeance. Now look at this guy, huh? I mean, this guy is too jolly not to hire. I'm gonna have to do it, money or not. Money be damned, I need Ferrando Varela. You absolutely smiling man, look at this guy. Yeah, you and Guts are gonna have a great time. Nothing bad ever happens to Guts. I've seen, I've heard so much about the anime. Like, nothing bad happens to him. Anzu is here. Virgin Anzu versus Chad El Guts. Serve me well, Count Anzu. I took your throne, huh? I took your throne from you. Come on, let's see a war. Let's see a war. We can also utilize the fact that we have female courtiers. Female courtiers are really, really strong. Because they allow you to marry in people that are knights. For example. This courtier that is threatening to leave court, a 16 year old dishonorable villain that's rather quick. We can have her matrilinearly marrying herself through to someone with great stats. Champion, best of luck and come in here. And if I go over to knights, I can make him a knight. Very cool, and it didn't cost me a penny. I can join an alliance with Count Alfonso Gonzalez of Soria. No thank you, we do not hold an alliance without money. You gotta pay up for that. So far, not a single war. Keep in mind, this whole mercenary strategy goes out the window as soon as we exit the opportunity phase and go into either hostility or conciliation. As you can see, we are no longer allowed to help out in wars if we reach conciliation. And if we reach hostility, well, people have no need for petty mercenaries as they are fully adapted to the ways of war. A toast to Count Anso. May your land belong to me. <laughs> no! He survived? That's a problem. Wait, Guts? Guts? Are you, you can't, you're not a sneak man. Take off your hood, thank you. Wow. Who is this? Diago Lopez. He's selling me a small block of Viking cheese? Tell you what, we have to find these cheese Vikings, but I'll accept the cheese. And my wife is pregnant. Let's go. Now let's see about getting some more land. If we kill this count, <laughs> this count. Oh, we got a free commander. Luis Cajal. He's not great, but I mean, any fighter will do. Oh my lord. Things are going great. But so far, there's no wars. Barcelona, Sheikh Al Musafar, Emir Ali Emir Al Ibn Mujahid. He's being he's being attacked by Tulia Tulia. We could contract assistance, but he's not willing to accept. He doesn't need any help in this war. Alright, that's interesting. What about you? Do you need help? That's a problem. Unless they think they need help, they're not willing to call in a mercenary. I see. Well, tell you what, we'll just hold off, and when the time is right, we'll go in. I'm sure you're gonna change your mind eventually. Anzu Jimena. Oh, this is the character that I deposed. He holds a lot of cool claims. Well, I'll get him in as my courtier. Why not? Are you willing to join now? Oh, might accept. Well, let's get our second perk. Chivalric dominance. We're gonna be the best thing we can get. As currently, our levels are quite lacking, but our champions and knights, they're very powerful. We can also schmuck up to the Pope and ask him for gold. We can do so by just being a cool Christian or by swaying him. Let's start with the latter. Are you willing to have me join yet? He gave up? He lost! I see. Wars are quick in this game, especially in the Iberian struggle. Well, we can earn our pay in different ways. You see King Garcia, he's rather rich. His brother, King Alfonso the Brave, even richer. I'm gonna simply uh, abduct the man. Get him into my prison and ransom him. Hey, sometimes you have to do some illicit activities. He discovered my scheme to capture him. That's incredibly awkward, but it's not gonna stop me. But I do see a war. King Alfonso the Brave is attacking the Kingdom of Leon, and the Kingdom of Leon is weaker. Contract assistance. Let's see, is this foolish to join in? It would tip the scales. But perhaps we should join in, but we will join in whoever pays the best. So what we want is for the realm to stay destabilized. And if the king of Castile takes over Leon, then there's one less customer. See, there's no loyalty as a mercenary. And we will also be able to sneak in from behind. Tell you what, King Alfonso, let's, let's shake hands on this. 
I'm willing to join in. Let's go fighting. We'll recruit Manuel and make him a knight. Topping up with knights like this is crucial for us to be able to win this war. The brother of the swords will join your fight, King. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Alfonso against Sanko the Strong. Let's see how strong he is. We'll quickly try to join up with the man himself. We need to defend his homeland. It's not looking great, but we'll get there as quickly as we can. Hopefully, the battle hasn't ended then. The attacker is going in hard, but if we can get in there quickly, we can turn the tide. Is this the man I'm trying to... Am I trying to abduct him? Sir, I'm doing this for your own safety. Tell you what, he got attacked. He got beaten down. So we're gonna sneak around and hopefully not get caught out. This is so weird. Why would I abduct him? I guess I can squeeze a bit more money out of him this way. Sure, but he's not gonna like it. Ah, it didn't work. Maybe uh, for the best. Could I perhaps, um, well, <laughs> I'll go for the Galician instead. <laughs> Kidnapping is also a good business for a mercenary. I call it involuntarily repositioning someone. We're gonna hold here and we're gonna hold steadfast. Come here. With a bit of luck, we might actually win this. Let's fight, come on. The Battle of Visara. The brave mercenaries under guts. We're absolutely stomping them! Holy macaroni! Guts, why are you such a shad? Outnumbered, but it doesn't matter! Our pikemen are holding in very favorable terrain. And our caballeros are also in favorable terrain, but also countering their bowmen. On top of that, we're a flexible leader. We can't roll worse than a two in mountains. And the enemy defensive advantage is reduced. We do what our client could not do. And let's fight properly. Now to earn our money, I thought, I think we need a lot of war contribution. So we're just gonna keep at it. I wanna see if I can capture someone in the capital. So far we got uh, Fernando Teles de Giron. Tell you what, my dude. You can be my executioner. Very good. Our knight effectiveness is a whopping 202%. That's great. That's proper good. Now let's start sieging. We need to earn as much war contribution as we possibly can. Otherwise he's not gonna pay us. It's sort of a show me that I actually got something out of this. Now I do see a problem. The faces are quickly changing. We need to earn more money. And they figured out I'm trying to abduct him. But I'm not gonna stop. Did I earn my money? I did! 186! Nice! Very, very good. He loses the claim. The realm is stabilized. And we've earned our first paycheck as mercenaries. Now let's spend it on a brush. <laughs> no, no. That's not what Guts would do. I'm thinking I'm gonna spend it on... We built cool lookout towers. This gives us defender advantage. Now, I'm thinking to build up our home base to be properly defended. So, hill forts it is. A good investment. But then again, we could increase our fighting capabilities with another caballero. That's exactly what we'll do. That increases our war fighting capabilities by a whole lot. Caballeros are absolutely goated when it comes to fighting in Iberia. Hills, plains, and drylands with a way reduced penalty for fighting in mountains compared to other cavalry. Tell you what, King Garcia, how about you pay me <laughs> a little ransom? And by a little, I mean a lot of gold, as soon as you can afford it. Tell you what, you stay in my dungeon and everything will be all right. Let's start collecting these kings like gosh darn Pokemons. And let's look around. Any other wars? I'll even take small revolts. Small revolts? There is another thing we can do in the struggle of Iberia. We can format a revolt, meaning we could start a revolt and then get paid to stop it. Now that is truly devious behavior. Infante El Minigats El Guzzi, <laughs> Guzzi's of the Brotherhood of Swords is becoming a rowdy character. I'm traveling back from prayers with my Archbishop Idelbrando by my side when I see a white flash in the ground. Stooping to pick it up, I unearth a bone white hard and circle item, a scallop shell. Such shell is the mark of a pilgrim that travels the road on a path towards Santiago. And anyone who possesses one, especially one with the mark of Santiago printed on it, has completed the arduous journey. I turn the shell over in my hand, and I wear... Oh, he's looking at me, listen. Who do you think they're gonna believe, huh? When I did this? Oh yeah, it's a very convincing shell. And I get a whole lot of prestige. And I get a whole lot of pity and become a pilgrim, even though I've never gone. Very good. Now let's ask the Pope for some gold. I think he gives this to me to further the Christian realm. But I'm probably gonna use it to start more revolt somewhere. Now where do we want to start a revolt and then help the revolt to overthrow the government? Do we have a client that we don't like? Someone with uh, comparable strength, without a strong alliance? Oh yeah, King Garcia El Fernandez. You're not a friend of mine. I'm gonna pay to start a revolt here and he won't notice my meddling. Very good. Peasant outrage you say? And the king isn't even there to stop it? I see. He's, a, he's way too weak to do anything. And I could publicly execute him to gain a whole lot of dread. But I will hold off for now and see if I can start a revolt or not. There's a siege here. It's a liberty war. Well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. 
221. Now, who is fighting against him? Count Gonzalez. Do you pay me more? No. You gotta keep in mind that the small wars could earn a lot of money as well. This is a pitiful war. So, we're gonna contract assistance and join up. This time we'll wait until we're proper in, raise the armies, and let's go earn some money. God bless the life of a mercenary. Surprise! Your enemy has money. But wait, King Garcia died in my prison. Uh, embarrassing. Awfully embarrassing. Castilius got massive. Did I not earn the money? No! Why not? Ah, that's bullcrap. And now I'm stuck with no money. Having lost men in that fight? No, I don't, I don't necessarily like that, do I? What do we do? What do we do? How do we stop this? We'll become friends with him. Fine, if we can't beat them, join them. I did get this guy. A massive giant. Tell you what, we'll ransom him off for a bit of gold. At least I came out with a bit of gold on this one. But this taught me something. Oh my lord, twins. El Gut and El Gut. Wow. So many sons that will be able to fight for me. And this guy will be taught by my very, very cool knight, Guthrif of Devon. All of them will be proper martial fighters. And my steward took me for a feast. Wait, I can take a Tarask horn? Uh, yeah, give me it. <laughs> a Tarask horn, huh? Give me a bit of fertility. Mmm, nice feast. I can appreciate that. But it looks to be a war breaking out. It's Castile being attacked by King Alfonso the Brave to take over Castile. Well, I better join the winning side in that case. But I can't get contract assistance from that guy, so we'll simply have to do it here. <laughs> yes, I will help you defend. We will keep the status quo. Raise the armies. Hey, listen, King Alfonso, I know I just fought with you to defend Leon. But now you're trying to change the status quo again, and I just can't have that, can I? No, we will go to Lyon and personally capture it. And now El Mini Good speaks high German? Tell you what, we should probably invest in getting ourselves a court tutor. Had you been? That way we'll get better educations from our children. Siege the area, and quickly. This will give us a lot of war score. So far, our contribution is the best. It's sort of like the crusade mechanic. Come on, let's hopefully not have him come over here. You see, it's a, it's a long way to your capital. Don't march there, sir. Let me capture it first. <laughs> and I'm friends with King Sancho. Who is, uh, who is the one I'm fighting for? Is that correct? Yes, yes, I'm friends with him. Great. Now let's kidnap someone. We'll kidnap uh, the king of Aragon. Why not? Wait, I can pay him to join. <laughs> I can, the mercenary can pay another man to join? That's so goofy. I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see about abducting someone else. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of sieging done. I even captured the air. That should give me a whole lot of war contribution. Now we just need to finish this. And I took the house banner. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking you might want that back, but uh, that's not gonna happen, my dude. Not gonna happen. Sakaliba settlers. A band of 700 of pale skin Sakaliba. Enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe have escaped the realm of my acquaintance Emir al-Muqtadir. Talk as he may about how treasured they were in his armies and his harem. They have braved many dangers to seek freedom in my land. We all have scars. Their leader Vladislav, baby don't hurt me, tells me. On our bodies and deep inside, but we are strong and determined. We long for some land of our own, where we can speak our ancestral tongue. If you let us settle in the city of Tafala, we will work hard. Hey, I'll, I'll do you one better. You can become the mayor. Tell you what, we have to be smart. Any man that is willing to help us is a man we're willing to help. Talking about helping, let's fight. Come here. <laughs> no more ring around the rosy. It's time for you to start pushing daisies. The war is won and we just earned a nice big paycheck. Thank you very much. On top of that, <laughs> we also nicked the Jimena house banner. Nice. A little war trophy, if you may say. We also have... Who is this? Uh, that's your mom. I captured both of your mother. Tell you what, I'm gonna recruit her and uh, make her become a nun. I made your mother a nun in my own court. Get schmunked. And tell you what, this child that I just captured, I can't kill him. We will recruit him. He'll become a future knight. And he shall be taught by none other than Guthrif the knight here. A proper warfighter. See, you don't have to buy knights if all you do is steal children and force them to become child soldiers, I guess? Wow, that's messed up, Koifish. Yeah, I know, but this is Crusader Kids. Now I'm on the prowl for another conflict. I'll, 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 do, I'll take anything. Talking about any war, we should probably look into taking over all of this area from our people. We don't really need counselors like this. Tell you what, give me your land. Ah, I imprisoned him by accident. Well, that's good. That makes it a whole lot easier to do this. <laughs> and this area? Yeah, we're gonna simply revoke it. Tyranny be damned. A big old fight. It says it's even, but I don't, I don't think that a second. Surprise, man! You should not have risen up against me. Very great. Very good. Now, 
it's time to go all the way into the strategy tree to get some really nice bonuses like hit and run and especially sappers. We will win the war and make him a prisoner. From there, he rose up against me, so I'm perfectly allowed to take his title. There we go. Now we've increased our power a whole lot. From this, we will be earning more gold, and especially more gold means more money that we can spend on our armies. Though people quite hate us now because we're a tyrant. I know how to offset that. But first, <laughs> we're gonna ransom Anzo Lopez for 105 gold. Nice. And you, my rival, I'm gonna publicly execute you. Best of luck and goodbye. Fortum, unless you're really good at fighting, which you seem to actually be, I'm gonna recruit you. Very good. We just grew a whole lot in power. And Mayor Vladislav, a beautiful scarred eunuch. Why do you hate me so much? Ah, of course. <laughs> the tyranny. I see a new war opportunity. A peasant uprising. But it's not willing to do it, as this war is... What do you mean past failures as a contractor? I've been doing a great job. Tell you what then. How about I ask this guy? No, I can't. It's literally just Abdul. I can't. Abdul does not have the pocket change to hire me. Sad to see. But Barcelona is defending against Duke Wilhelm. Let me join up, huh? A proper fight. I'll show you about losing previous wars. We've had a great track record. Nothing but wins. Now up we go. Defend our liege at any cost. Come here. The Battle of Toulouse. We will not lose. Let's go. I'll earn my keep, huh? You did well in hiring me. Now where does the Toulouse man sit? Please tell me that's enough war score. No, the war is done too quickly. Ah, that's a problem. Wait, did I get paid? Yeah, my war, my war contribution was less than that. Which is really sad to see. That ruins my reputation, man. I, I want to effectively. Yeah, I, the, uh, new, new day recording. Wow, my voice is... <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> editor get schmunked, get tricked. All right, last time it didn't really work out. The Aquitinians, the Toulousians, they would be too quickly. Meaning we got a bad Yelp review on our mercenary services. Which I don't know, I feel like that's kind of bad. We didn't... Uh, the fact that we helped him win the war quickly means we didn't get paid. For shame. Big shame. Oh, this guy's having a revolt. He's defending against Wale's Ravan Alquanis. Let's see if he wants to get help, no? Yeah, he has little gold. I, well, I guess I'm gonna have to talk to the other guy then. The, the guy you're attacking. Let me see that war of yours. Attacker. More troops than you. But he's still willing to pay me 300 gold if I join. Yeah? No, that's a proper bag. We're coming and helping you. You can't pay? Will, will you join the other side? Now let's earn that gold. This time, we're gonna be quicker. Way quicker. We're gonna go right away to fight his main force. Come on, let's hope he doesn't get captured or loses. We'll help him fight the main battle here. If we catch him first, then we can sort of claim the honor of doing it. Come here! We're gonna fight you! Outnumbering Gudalaraj- <laughs> Oh, no, my lord, that's a name. Gudalara, Gudalajar, Gudalara. Help! Don't get captured, don't get captured, don't get captured! Alright! Let's see here. My war contribution is zero. How? I, I fought in that battle! I fought in the Battle of Hoover Dam, you know? Alright, we're gonna quickly go and see if we can get the siege first. So he's officially doing the sieging. So we're gonna go for this siege instead. That's 19 months, and that's your 6 months. So we're gonna siege this place, and hopefully get enough war score so that we can justify getting paid. My men died, you know? We also have these guys. Are they like his knights? Yeah, it sure looks like it. This guy's pretty good at fighting. So we're gonna recruit him, but only if he converts. That's how you get yourself a cool knight. <laughs> I know you just fought and all, but are you willing to help fight for me? <laughs> oh my lord, that's a lot of knights. Sadly, they all hate me because I did that tyrant move. But hey, what are you gonna do? Kill me? Not gonna happen. My son speaks Basque? Heck yes. Let's teach him Iberian Vulgar first. Let's see here. Is that enough war score? Oh yeah. I think that's enough for us to get paid. Heck yes. Now we'll go and get some more in the form of a battle. Now don't try to run away from me. Come here. He's on a hill. Oh, but we are flexible leader, giving him less defensive advantage. Tell you what, I think we can do this. Come here. Oh yeah. You- We cut off his arm! <laughs> Listen, mercenaries these days cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> From 200 gold all the way up to 500. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, the Tulia Tulia people have split. That's bad for them, but it's great for us. Big bag of money. Now let's use that to further our own holdings. Oh yeah, lovely stuff. Nothing beats fighting for your own living and fighting other people <laughs> for their living. And we got a nice cool perk. Let's go for engineers for destruction. Or actually, let's go for Parthian tactics. This boosts our cavalry immensely. And cavalry, that's sort of our main bulk of the force. Very good. But I've gained a rival. King Sanko. Why? He funded unrest against me? He's using his own pitiful tactics against me? My rival? Huh? Tell you what, I'm gonna fight you. Huh? Why, don't you, why won't you accept? Probably because he has zero prowess. 
and I have 40. Oh well, tell you what. Maybe it's time for us to take some action of ourselves. The Castilians have a few troops, for sure. But, can you just murder this man? Tell you what, if you're gonna play games, I'll play games with you. He's already old, so let's give him a good omen. This will give him a health boost. But I'm planning on killing him on other ways. Uh-oh, leader Jill of the Peasant Revolt. Listen, this isn't how we do things. I'm literally gonna schmunk you into the ground. I am Guts. That man really funded rebels in my area, huh? Hot angry rebels in your area. It's target practice. Come here. Gobble them up like Thanksgiving turkey. Thank you very much. Enforce demands. But I can't set up another enterprise. Oh yeah. We're gonna do something very devious. A mercenary needs to diversify his assets. And we're building a portfolio of stuff that can bring us money. So my lovely priest over here will help me fabricate a claim on the county of Cagliari. As there exists a very cool mine here. And luckily, they've already built it for us. We simply go in and take it from them. You know it's a good mercenary company, when even the priest is willing to help out. <laughs> oh, enjoy this poison duck. Goodbye, Alfonso. <laughs> I'm a murderer. I'm fully aware. <laughs> I've killed countless men on the battlefield and only, only now someone bats an eye. Well, don't punish the son for the sins of the father, but like, I feel like I have to do a proper job at this. Goodbye. Will this hurt my potential future business of being a mercenary? Potentially. Do I feel like this guy is getting a bit too big for his shoes? Absolutely. We have to wait until someone dislikes him. I feel like this guy disliked him and that's why he left. But there need to be some sort of dissent for us to sort of fan the flames of said dissent. By fermenting a revolt. Let's see. Are there any wars going on? Oh, the Castilians are attacking the Leonese for the third time. And it looks like the Casti and it looks like the Leonese are severely outnumbered. How much are you willing to pay, huh? 532? And you? 532! Well, I know who I'm gonna fight for. <laughs> but that would mess up the power balance. So I have an idea on how to counteract that later. Raise the lads! We have to be quicker than they are. March all the way to Lyon. We've been there plenty of times. We need a lot of war contribution to earn that pay. But that's gonna be the biggest payoff we've ever gotten. 500 gold, that's huge. That's big money, I tell you. We'll go right away for the siege, ignoring any battle. Oh yeah, as they're fighting, let's hope he doesn't catch the bastard. Uh oh, he absolutely did. Shucks. Well, that's super sad. We lost out on a big paycheck right there. That's actually kinda sad. My war contribution wasn't big enough. But I guess King Sancho of Castile really likes us now. Which is great because he's the biggest ruler on this side of the Iberian Isle. So we're gonna have to kill him. The Tulaitula people are attacking the Castilians. Now I could do these people, but they're not willing to pay. So my dear friend, I'm gonna work for the other guy. 500 gold. Now we need this bag. We need it, desperately. That's gonna be our biggest payout yet. But backstabbing our friends like this, I'm sure they're not gonna take this lightly. Can we hold? We built up this place with proper lookout towers. We will crush the enemy right before their eyes. That's a good war contribution. And I wanna take out this capital. It's gonna cost me a bit of casualties when I walk into his land. But I need to do this. Are you seriously sieging me down? Station the besiegers and leave. We have to defend our home area. Come here. But we have to be careful here. As to not gain too much war score. Oh, I got the holy nail? A holy nail of the cross? Well, I'm gonna join that, won't I? We need a bit more war score. If I siege this land, will that be enough? Come on, siege it real quick. We need that war score. Hopefully this should be enough. Come on. Let me see that bag. Let me see that bag. Big money, big money, big money. Money! Big payout. Big gold. Now I'm pretty sure that we can just do this and buy a claim using piety. We also have his queen. God damn, you're a cutie patootie, but we're gonna sell you back. We are beyond rich, and it's time for us to diversify our portfolio. Take this area, raise the lads, and quickly head over there. We'll take a little boating trip. Boom, that's some proper war fighting right there. Just like that, we've taken the land. Thank you very much, the mine is ours. Very good! We will be mining silver. The captives from the last battle shall go into the silver mines. And the fields shall bring me bountiful gold. Very nice. Wow, I'm like super rich. I'm gonna go on a pilgrimage. Sir, you can't be naked. It's against God. I'm gonna challenge him in a theological debate. And I can't win against him. God damn, I guess being naked is the way, huh? Then I'm gonna switch to medicine focus. Guts has to live forever. Be strong, Guts. I walked the holy path. And I got St. Matthew's femur. Look at that, huh? Holy nail and a femur. Nice. The femur breaker. Ah! <laughs> With our newfound prestige, we can actually just straight up buy a claim 
on the kingdom of Castile. Except we're only a king or an emperor. Which means we can just buy a claim on these areas? Cool. Based. I like it. Oh, I see a revolt forming. Any chance to get this man off the high horse? Who's paying me more, huh? You, sir, have like no troops at all. Which means... Wait, that's the old one. Tell you what, I'm willing to join your fight. A liberty war or a war against the tyranny? He's paying me 600 gold. Tell you what, I'll join your war. It's one heck of a war though, but it'll be your biggest job yet. We'll take it. Raise the lads. In we go. I will heft my axe and toss it into your stomach. We will win. King Sancho, my friend, let me beat you up for banter. Oh yeah. Hopefully I can capture his wife again. God damn, that woman is a cutie. <laughs> Making casual small talk as I capture someone. Nice. Now we're gonna protect the man that we've been hired to do. And who are we fighting now? No, I, I've been tricked. Beat the man quickly. This is some diversion. This is some Battle of Hastings type stuff. Get out of here. Oh, well, at least he didn't capture him. That's good. Let's beat him up. Come here. Valencia de Campos. Once again, I'm fighting my manlet friend, King Sancho the Strong. Oh. I took a Castilian war banner and I ca I captured him. I fear that I have to quickly get him out of prison. Otherwise, he's gonna win the war right away. No, I can't have that happen. We need to do something that does, like, the best would be to ransom him. But, like, just releasing him will release him instantly. Doing this will probably just end the war. Let's try ransoming. Oh, he paid for it and he got out of prison before the war ended. Based. 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 Now we continue the siege. Also, I got a banner. <laughs> Our banner in the middle and every banner I've stolen around me. That's good. Now we do need way more war contribution. Best way to do that is a bit of fighting. If we let the man siege that place, which will take nine months, we have to quit the siege. We can't let him win like this. I think I need 3,000 a bit more. Hopefully this will be enough. We'll bank on it. We'll bank on it. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's quickly siege this. Ta-da! And hopefully, we will have a thousand gold by the end of this war. Oh yeah, he pays up! Thank you for your business. Castile is now ruled by, by a three-year-old? Tell you what, it's not my business to get involved. I just do, alright? But it sadly seems that the age of opportunity is getting out of our grasp. We won't be able to be mercenaries for long. We have to think of a plan B. And Infante El Minigat, he has no, he has like no land. Damn. The days of opportunity in Iberia are growing ever shorter. As we are only 80 points away from reaching the conciliation phase. And as you can see, we can't be a cool mercenary if this happens. The age of war ends. The age of peace begins. And I feel it's time for us to go somewhere else. We've now entered conciliation. The time of war is over. But yet... There is one more war we can have! A last bout in Castile! It's Duke Mendo Unes of Portugal. Do we defend the young boy? The child of our former friend? Are you willing to pay us? 600. What about your enemy? 600. Tell you what, it's time for change. Let's go! One last battle! Raise the lads! Guts, we're doing this one and we're going out swinging! We can do this! Come on! Surprise! I fight in mountains like a mountain goat! That's Count Rodrigo El Cid Campeador! Well, let me campeador you into the ground! Come here! Alright, one last battle! And we're gonna take this one nice and slow! Come here! It's time to fight! A glorious battle! The Battle of Zamora! Oh yeah! We're absolutely cramping them! Come on! Let's go! El Guts! El Guts! Boom! Money! And just like that! The age of mercenaries is over. We have now reached conciliation, meaning we can no longer contract assistance. And Guts have become a grey-haired old man. And with that, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Do I recommend playing as a mercenary in Crusader Kings? Absolutely. Not just going for the most optimal way, but sticking to one shtick. Oh my lord. It's probably the most fun you can have in Crusader Kings. The only thing I wish they would do is to take the Fate of Iberia struggle mechanic and put it on other places. I mean, who wouldn't want to play as a mercenary in the Norse struggle? Or perhaps the struggle for the HRE? Once again, I struggle to see why Paradox wouldn't put this DLC thing in more areas. It's such a cool mechanic and the code is already there. Hopefully, some modder will be able to implement this into the base game. I've seen the struggle mechanic be put into like Elder Kings. And there, it's super cool as well. So hopefully, Paradox will listen to me, as I have a strong hook on Steven Paradox. This has been Corfish playing as a mercenary in Crusader Kings 3. Hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. 
Until then, stay guts, my dudes. Yeet!